With a mother who loved to bake, Lisa Mansour grew up in a household surrounded by cakes. So when the opportunity arose to open a retail store that caters to cake and pastry decorators, she never looked back. New York Cake has since become the retail mecca for bakers in the city and features their own cake decorating academy as well as their own line of products sold all over the world. My name is Lisa Mansour and I am the founder of New York Cake here in New York City. New York Cake is a retail store here in Manhattan that caters to the home decorator, the cake artist, the pastry chef, anyone who basically wants to decorate a cake or bake. We also carry our own line of products that we've developed. We wholesale to all over the world and we sell on other websites. When people walk in, they're like, oh, this is like Disneyland for cakes or this is the mecca of baking. I love to see that reaction of people. Hi, how are you? What's going on? How is this done? If it's fondant, do the yellow fondant and airbrush it. Mm -hmm. Or you could do the watercolor effect, where you put the icing on, yellow on the bottom and orange on the top, and do the scraper effect. Oh. So you okay. could do it two ways. Or I think I want to do the fondant. OK, so. let's go. We also have a school called New York Cake Academy, specifically for cake decorating. We hold up to 12 people in a class for beginners, intermediate, or advanced students. So it's something for everyone. Now, the very first design we're gonna learn is a star. So what I'm gonna be is slightly above the cake, and I'm gonna squeeze, stop my pressure, and then lift up. So everyone do this for me. I grew up in Brooklyn around cakes my whole life. My mom was a fantastic cook and baker. So many people would ask her to make them cakes, and then eventually people would ask her to teach them. She started teaching in the house. We would have ladies at our dining room table doing roses and icing all over the place. And my dad would come home from work tired and see all these ladies, and he'd be like, I, you know? So after a while, he's like, no more. I can't, please, no more teaching. And my mom's like, but I really like it. He had a cosmetic store on 50th Street. He said, come to the back of my store and come and teach there. So that's what she did. I would go there every weekend, and especially all summer, I'd be working there. I was learning, not knowing I was even learning. My dad decided to retire when eventually the landlord tripled the rent, and she told everybody, sorry, we're closing, and just everyone went crazy. That's when I came into the picture full time. I was 18 years old. My mom said, I can't do this on my own. If you take care of the store, I'll run the school. And I said, sure, let's try, you know? I was into it. I just thought it would be a fun adventure. <laughs> and I'm glad we did it. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. I took a small break while I had my babies. I was a real estate broker. I knew this was a full-time job. I thought real estate was going to be like a part-time thing, and, but I'm, I'm an all-in person, I guess. And I saw so many things that I wanted to change and do. I had to come back and make some changes. I always loved sales. I always loved working with people. That was my thing. But I never knew I was going to do what my mother did. Teaching? This is super fun. That I never know. I actually had a fear of speaking. I was terribly afraid. I have him laying down. It looks like this. It was a big deal for me to stand up in front of, <laughs> at the time, it was only 12 people, but my voice was shaking at first, and I, I was terrified. But I overcame it, and now I speak in front of hundreds of people. I started the New York Cake Show. I wanted my students to think outside the box and practice the art and get confidence. My first show was 100 people. This last one, which was year number five, we had over 200 cakes, and we had like 5,000 people come from all over the world. It's incredible, and it's growing. Yeah, so I want you to take everything from the Golden Tier Awards, pick the best shots, and do a, like a social media campaign. You got it? Yes. Okay, excellent. New York Cake is located in the heart of the Flatiron District. We're on 22nd Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. I love New York City. I'm a New York City girl. I grew up in Brooklyn, but I love Manhattan. Having a business in New York is great because you have access to the best of everything. 
I'm a believer in New York City. <laughs> As you can tell, New York King, New York King show. <laughs> New York. I'm gonna smooth this around. The problem is people, when they put their icing on, they go very thin and they worry about smoothing right away. I'm not really worried about smoothing, I'm just covering my cake. So advice to people would be, don't think too much. If you think too much sometimes, you're gonna stop and say, oh, I don't think I could do this. But just go for it and do it. And so you wanna cover everything. Okay. Let's see how all the colors yeah. blend. If you work really hard at it and you're passionate about what you do, I think you'll be successful. I could say I love what I do every single day I wake up, and that's important, because if you love what you do, you'll be happy and successful, hopefully. This is my favorite. How pretty! It really does add. It adds, I'm telling you, the wow factor. <laughs>